It took a while, but the growing season is in full swing. And as if you don't have enough to do, Rebecca Coles has a list of reminders to keep your garden growing strong. All right, dogs, this is my show, go. Well, remember those potatoes that we planted in the trash bags? Look at them now, they are growing. But remember, in order to ensure potatoes, you've got to continue covering up the stems with soil right up to the crown of the plant. In no time, we'll be harvesting. Now, hopefully by now you planted your tomatoes and remember stake them early because once they start growing if they get top heavy and the winds take off they will literally snap the plant in half now remember if you want your annuals and perennials to continue blooming you need to deadhead that means removing the spent blooms Well, the chives are looking fantastic this year. What's really cool, if you deconstruct the head of the flower, it turns into these little florets, which are beautiful as a garnish on salads, soups, even potatoes. And here's something else you could do. Stuff a jar with the chives and the flowers. So take white vinegar, warm it up, not boil, just warm it up. Stuff a jar with chives and the blossoms. Pour in the vinegar. And what's going to happen, this is going to turn a beautiful blush color. Just put it in your windowsill, seal it up, and then in about a week or so, you've got a beautiful, mild, chive-flavored vinegar. You know, now's a great time to get those perennials planted. Those are plants that come back every year, and a lot of them are going on sale now. But before you plant them, here's what I want you to do. Remove the plant from its container and you can see this is extremely dry. Gently pull apart the roots and dunk it in a bucket of water. And the reason we're doing this, we want the plant to be completely hydrated when we put it in the hole. Now while the plants are soaking, I'm going to dig a hole. And for perennials, remember to get as deep as it was in the container and make sure the hole is two times wider. All right, so the plants are nice and wet, which I like. We're gonna place them in the hole, and I'm going to backfill. But when I backfill, I'm only going to do it halfway, and I'm going to mix in some compost with the soil that I removed. On top of that, I'm going to add a small handful of worm castings. This is a fertilizer, a slow release, and it won't burn the plant, and it's going to help build the soil. Now, we're going to water the plant and we're going to let it drain completely. Remember, this is to ensure transplant shock and make sure the plant is nice and hydrated. Well, the weather is finally warm enough to plant your summer bulbs. They can be a tropical paradise in your garden. We're talking about elephant ears or colocasia, dahlias and cannas. Just be sure when you buy the bulbs, they're nice and firm and some of them are already starting to sprout. Of course, you want that looking up when you plant it. Follow the directions, you'll be happy. But remember, at the end of the season, we have to dig them out and store them if you want to use these again next year. That's coming up next fall. For now, I'm Rebecca Coles, WCCO 4 News. And remember, you can get more tips like these on Rebecca's Instagram.